energy competitiveness and climate action are both absolutely critical and important and can be pursued together. So one example just from the United States, um, as a result of the increased gas supplies that we've had in the United States, it's facilitated the transition from the use of coal to the use of gas and power generation and a whole range of other functions. That, along with several other measures, have resulted in the lowest CO2 emissions that we've had in the United States in the last 16 years. We've increased our competitiveness, we've increased our, um, our, our progress toward uh, a, a stronger, sustainable future in line with the climate goals that we have. For Europe, there are huge opportunities still on the fuel choices that it makes, on the use of energy efficiency, on the use of renewables, and to do that in a way that fits within a competitive market economy. We've seen as a result of the innovations that we've had in renewable energies that the prices of renewable energy have dropped, but they have to be integrated with sustainable baseload power in order to be able to work most effectively. And so what we're trying to do is share knowledge and information that we've gained from each of our experiences to understand how you can achieve both of these goals, the continued process of increased competitiveness because we both want to have strong economic growth, but to do that in a way that allows us to advance the sustainability of the planet.